This video is brought to you by Wakelet. Hey guys, this is Sam, and for the first time in a very long time, or maybe ever, Apple released a new iOS beta on Friday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard at the normal time, but usually we see these on Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Thursday's pretty rare, but Friday, I don't think we've ever seen that. Even crazier would be something on a Saturday or a Sunday. We saw iOS 11.1 beta 3 this Monday, and nothing really changed. The issue with 3D touch lag was corrected alongside a number of other changes, but there was nothing huge, no massive features to talk about. In iOS 11.1 Beta 2, we saw the reintroduction of the 3D touch multitasking gesture. We saw the 69 new emoji characters and hundreds of new emojis if you count skin tones and other variations in total, which was really exciting. But everything else has been pretty low key so far. In iOS 11.1 Beta 1, we saw a couple of tweaked animations. So it's a very mixed update, and I feel like the betas are really unbalanced. The first beta was really small, the second one was huge, and then the next two were really tiny because iOS 11.1 beta 4 only has one change so far. If we head over to the emoji keyboard and take a look at the octopus emoji, this is how it looked in iOS 11.0. In iOS 11.1 they made it look a little bit more realistic, but for whatever reason without any explanation, Apple reverted it back to the stock iOS 11.0 or 10.3.3 look. It's a little bit simpler, less detailed, and I kind of like the new one on iOS 11.1. Maybe iOS 11.1 beta 4 accidentally reverted the image or it was supposed to be something different or maybe Apple is just tweaking the image and they're planning to add it back in a future iOS update. At this point we don't really know. However aside from that the release notes are practically identical to the ones that we saw this Monday with iOS 11.1 beta 3. Now before we move on I want to take just a second to thank Wakelet for sponsoring today's video and making it possible. Wakelet is a free content aggregation service for sharing and saving things that you find online and turning a lot of links into just one. On the home page, you can do something called a quick wake, which allows you to paste in links here and then create a separate page with context about these links that looks something like this. Instead of just seeing a URL, you can see a title and the website it's from and even a short description about what that link is. The best part of the quick wake feature is that you don't even need to have an account to use it, but if you do sign up, you get a lot of additional features, including creating a profile to manage your links and collections, and you can edit the title, description, and image of each individual link that you add to customize it and make it your own. You can present your collections in different layouts and make your collections private or enlisted or even embed them somewhere else and invite other people to contribute to your collections. And on top of creating your own, you can also follow other collections and other users on Wakelet. There's an Android and iOS app for you to download and Wakelet's going to be free forever. So if you're interested in checking it out for yourself, make sure you visit the link down below in the description. Going forward, it seems like we will almost certainly be getting Apple Pay Cash and peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay when iOS 11.1 launches because over on the Apple Pay website it says that Apple Pay Cash and peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay will be coming this fall and internal testing with Apple employees has been ramping up. Now with that being said, in iOS 11.1 beta 3 we discovered a few days after the initial release that if you went into the Siri menu or you went to ask Siri a question and then hit the question mark in the bottom left hand corner she would show you what she could talk about. There was a section that said pay mom $15 or send money to this person referencing the new features coming with Apple Pay Cash and peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay. For whatever reason, in iOS 11.1 Beta 4, that has been completely removed. It is not present. And I think this could mean one of two things. Number one, peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay is still coming, but because it's not present in iOS 11.1 Beta 4, it wouldn't make sense to have a section in the Siri area for it or referencing that feature when it's not going to happen. But it will be present in the final version that ships sometime before the end of fall, like Apple has promised on their Apple Pay website. Or number two, Apple has decided to push back the feature until iOS 11.2 or maybe to some time in the future where they could refine the feature and work out some bugs or other kinks that they've been experiencing. The truth is we don't really know. I hope we see it soon because it looks like an incredible feature. Cannot wait to try it out and I'm so interested to see the effect that it's going to have on other apps like PayPal and Venmo and Square Cash. Will people start using Apple Pay Cash and peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay over these third-party services that have been killing it over the past few years? Apple has given us a really good look at how this feature will work on the Apple Watch, on the iPhone. There's videos and screenshots over on the Apple Pay website and the feature looks really polished like it is practically ready to ship. Speaking of shipping, Apple has not provided a public release date for when iOS 11.1 will be available for everyone just yet, but today's update weighed in at 1.97 gigabytes on my iPhone 8. And as the size of each update increases, when you jump from like 37 megabytes to 1.97 gigabytes, it usually means that this will be one of the last, if not the last version of the firmware before everyone can download it. As of right now, that's everything we know about iOS 11.1 beta 4, but as always, if more changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog 
blog post over on my website, link down below in the description. If you enjoyed this, it does help me out if you drop a like and share it with someone else. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos on future iOS updates. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.